In this problem, we're given a, a pictograph. It's a, the graph with pictures that tell you how much was happening in whatever you're looking at. But let's read about it first, and then we'll talk about the question they ask. In this question, it, or in this problem, excuse me, they tell us that, that Charlene made the pictograph below to show the number of students from different grades who walk to school every day. The first thing I always look at is the key right here. This tells me every time I see a slipper or a shoe or whatever this is, that it equals four students. So here with the number of the grades, we have first, second, third, and fourth grade. And the number of students, we can quickly realize that for grade one, there's one and a half shoes, so that's, that's six students, right? Here, because this is four, and then two, half of four, so six students. Here we have four, eight, 12, 16 second graders that walk. In third grade, we have four, eight, 12 students that walk. And then in fourth grade, we have 12, oh, excuse me, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and then two. So 22 students that walk. So they ask us two questions, and they got cut off here, so I'll, I'll just read it to you. They ask us, and I'll write it up here, how many, this is the wording they use, fewer grade, grade three students walk to school than grade four students, that's their wording. All they're asking you is, right, if I take 22 and subtract 12 from it, what's the answer, right? How many more are there here than here? And that's just 10. So the answer is 10, because 12 plus 10 is 22. So there are 10 more students in grade four that walk than in grade three. Then the second thing they usually ask is, to make create a or create or complete a frequency table or they'll call it a table depending on when they're asking the question but but what does that mean well that means it's a, usually a two column table like this we write the grade a title so students walking don't forget your title students walking and then here are the numbers right you would write number of students and then, and then you just basically set the same thing up. So first, second, third, and fourth grade, and then the numbers of students that walk. So six, 16, 12, and 22. And, that, and all you're doing is taking the information from the pictograph and putting it into numbers, which is already kind of what we did here, right? But just make sure you label your title and that you label each column clearly. Don't just write number like I did. Write number of students. This way you can get full credit. Thanks.